guys, Will Scully with AudioSavings.com. We're here, it's NAM time, it's 2014. Still having an awesome time in the PV booth. And uh, we're gonna speak with Greg a little bit on their amplifiers, which they're, they're, they're very uh, you know, well known for. And this is on the IPR series, uh, the, the IPR2s. Yes. So, so Greg, please, man, uh, have at it. All right, uh, the IPR, we, we, had the, we came out with the first lightweight amp under seven pounds uh, wow. several years ago. It's a whole new technology. It's something that no one's ever done before, sure. no other amp company. And um, so what we've done over over like a four or five year period, we learned a lot about the things we needed to change and make them so they're, they're rugged for the road and just perfect. Mm -hmm. So we changed, we came out the IPR2s. Um, so what these are is we have four models, a, a 2,000, a 3,000, a 5,000, 7,500 watt amplifiers. They come with DSP or without DSP. You can buy ones with no DSP or with the DSP. Mm -hmm. Now the nice part about them is, in, in, in this price range, the only amp that goes to two of us. Mm -hmm. uh, no one else, everyone else only rates us to four. Sure. So 75,000 5, is half that, 2,500 watts at two. Mm -hmm. It's about 18 at four, about 12 at, at eight, which is an incredible amount of power. Sure. Um, but the, the, the nice thing about them is, are, are things that you don't think about amplifiers. Voltage is very important, especially in the New York area, I've noticed. There's big voltage swings. Mm -hmm. We at, here at NAM had a major voltage spike yesterday. Okay. It had nothing to do with us, it was the building. Sure. These were actually running for two hours on 215 volts. Whoa, really? We didn't know. Yeah. And we finally like saw lights flickering this and that, and we tested it, and they were running at 215 volts. Yeah. For, and they should have blown up literally after five minutes, and they're still working perfectly. And that, that awesome? And, you know, it's hotels, amazing. so many venues, you know, are just known for having being bad on the power grid. Right. Hotels especially, but, you know, we're, your, your other, you know, a customer that went with another brand may have been having to buy a whole new rack of amps. Yeah. Our PV guys are, are still doing great, and here right. they are. And here's the other thing. We took a Variac, which is a, which is a voltage control. We ran it down to 62 hertz of power, okay. which is stupid low until they failed. They worked fine down to 65 hertz. They kept running and running and running. Didn't didn't nothing happen to them. Well, let that me ask you: is, is there is there a capacitor built into these, or is no, there a power no, no. conditioner? How no, are, no, how no, are no. they able it, to do that? See, is it see we're, there's a lot of different things in there. There's a lot of things we won't talk about. The PVisms. Yeah, the PV. But there's a lot of things we won't talk talk about how we did this and why we did this. But sure. it, it works. The mm -hmm. other nice thing is the DSP mm -hmm. is very simple. So you have every PV speaker in there, but you have generic. So if you have a 10, 12, 15, two-way, it asks you if you're using a subwoofer to cross over for you. Sure. It also asks you what kind of music are you playing. So if you're a contemporary a voice church a DJ, it'll EQ for you, mm -hmm. and then you can EQ it from there if you want. Mm -hmm. So it can be very simple or very not complex, but but, but very intuitively deep. Mm -hmm. in, in, so if someone wants mm -hmm. to tweak, they can tweak. Do, do they have your own personal favorite uh, Christian country on there, as far as the setting goes? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> awesome. now, now the other thing about them is we have some exclusive called. Uh -huh. You're feeling waves. They make all the plugins for the studios. Mm -hmm. They, they have something called Max Bass. Okay. That we're the only company in the world to have that in our DSP version. Wow. What Max Bass is, is called a psychoacoustic program. Okay. The reason it's called that is your brain can fill things in for you. And what they discovered, and they've been doing this in their system and in studios for over 10 years, and it works. Okay. If you introduce a fourth order harmonic of a subharmonic okay. into the system, it's not a beeper tone, you don't hear it. It's not okay. noticeable. It's just they introduce it. Your brain hears that, and your, your brain says, well, I'm hearing that, I should hear this subharmonic. Sure. Like a, like a BBE processor or a cosmos. Like you would off anything else, right. right. So your brain hears it, and it's not there. Right. Like, But you all of a sudden, it's like you just turned it on. Yeah. Gre Greg the audio mind freak, if you will. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. but the thing is, if you have a spectrum analyzer, uh -huh. it doesn't change uh -huh. what you hear. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't put any more pressure on your subs. So Very it's a cool. pretty amazing thing, and we're the only ones that have that. Good. So check these out, and again, you listen to them first. 